Now available in paperback and coming to Kindle Unlimited, John Haynes, Dark Succubus, the man who rules the world, is tempted by a sultry succubus in this all-new John Haynes series adventure. Get John Haynes, Dark Succubus in paperback or pre-order on Kindle Unlimited today. A couple of weeks ago, I had a chance to take a look at Dark Horse Comics' Count Crowley, Reluctant Midnight Monster Hunter. And after reading the first issue of Count Crowley, Reluctant Midnight Monster Hunter, I was pleasantly surprised about how much fun this comic was and how gr it did a great job of capturing the spirit of the 1980s. Now, David Demosticon, this is his first comic, and he has really crafted a rock-solid story in the first issue of Count Crowley, and he does a great job of introducing us to reporter Jerry Bartman and her downward spiral as she is, after getting drunk and then revealing that one of these owners of these old 1980s fairs like medieval times was really giving people this cheap wine, but because she was drunk, she wound up losing her job as a reporter and then wound up having to take another job at the same small TV station as the host of the Count Crowley show. And that's where we get a the start of a great mystery, because as Jerry takes on the role of Count Crowley, we start to find out that there was more to this than just introducing and hosting bad B-movies late at night, that there is an actual job for Count Crowley. And David does a great job of introducing us to Jerry Bartman and her troubled past, introducing us to why she wants to take on the job of Count Crowley, and he really makes us care about Jerry and her life, and that's really, and he really builds up a rock-solid story, introducing us to Jerry, her life, and the mystery regarding Count Crowley. The Count Crowley Reluctant Midnight Monster Hunter is a book I can highly recommend because it really captured the spirit of t the time of 1983, the time of local, low-budget TV shows, and small local television stations, and really takes us back to the time where television was more of a local thing, and it really does a great job of showing us what life was like in the early 1980s. Again, I can highly recommend you pick up Count Crowley, Reluctant Midnight Monster Hunter. It's one of the best books that Dark Horse has published as I see it this year, and it's one that I urge you to pick up either in a digital format, or better yet, go head down to your local comic shop and pick up a copy of Count Crowley because you won't be disappointed with this horror comic. This horror comic really reminds me again of the 1980s. It reminds me of all of those old 1980s horror um, movies, and it also reminds me of shows like Tales from the Dark Side, which came on in the 1980s and Tales from the Crypt, and you definitely won't be disappointed with this great comic. I definitely want you to go head to your local comic shop and pick this one up, because this one definitely is worth your $3.99.